Hi, Ned. Just in time for the party. Care for a drink? No, thank you. I'm just in time, really, to get something straight here. You look beautiful. Well, that's the last we're going to say on that subject. Thank you very much. I want you to behave yourself tonight. Where's your date? I sent AJ in the limo to pick her up. You sent... You sent AJ to pick your date up? What are you doing? I see the party is starting, huh? Uh, well, not quite, no. To my handsome aunt and uncle. Well, thank you very much. Um, where are Lila and Edward? They're in the butler's pantry trying to figure out what to do with the hors d'oeuvres. When father found out how much caviar that mother was going to serve, oh. the man had a fit. He <laughs> says to me, he says, whatever happened to the old-fashioned sardine? <laughs> now listen, you're going to meet all kinds of people here tonight with all kinds of stories to tell, all right? Well, I doubt they're going to tell them here. What do you mean? You never know. It could create all kinds of intrigue, couldn't it? I think you've been reading a bit too many trashy novels, actually. <laughs> I like the idea of intrigue, though. Yes, a little bit of it goes a long way. Now, the guests are arriving. Listen, come on with me. We'll, we'll greet them together, okay? Good evening. Alan, good evening. Oh, good evening. Oh, nice to meet you. I don't know which of you has met my nephew, Ned. Oh, 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 Monica, you look wonderful. Well, that spa oh, certainly did wonders for her, didn't it? I think I met everyone from General Hospital. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, good evening. Yes. Well, well, well. I suggest we all go into the wedding room for cocktails. Oh, that's good idea, right? Nice to meet you, Lila. Yes. Good idea. Have a saloon time. Good to see you. How are you doing? Oh, it's so good to see you. Now, I don't know if you've met uh, Mr. Rooney, certainly. Yes. How are you, sir? I hear you're doing good work, Ned. Thank you. And we've met at Kelly's. Well, of course, I'm nice to see that you again. That chili was no best. Well, flattering at your <laughs> Should we go get some liquid refreshment? Lila, darling. Hello, Lovely to see you, Lila. I'm so glad you could come. Oh, thank you. Have you met my husband, Gregory? Oh, yes, indeed. It's good to see you again, Mrs. Quarterman. Now, let me see. Ned, I would like to present to you Mrs. Barrington, Mr. and Mrs. Yes. Howard. Oh. Actually, Edward is doing all of the introductions in, in the living room. Uh, as you'll find out, it's quite a general hospital contingent. <laughs> well, there is. Well, shall we join them? Yes, dear. Good idea. Uh, have the guests of honor, your father and Lady Ashton, arrived yet? Not yet, but they should be here soon. So I'm dying to meet them. Well, shall we join the others in the Good living idea. room? I'll be with you later. All okay. Right. Now, just a minute. Alone at last. What are you doing having A.J. pick up your date? He's just a child. Well, that's what you thought of me when you knew me as War. Besides, she's a really sweet girl, and A.J. loves her. James. Jennings. Well, as I say in the movies, it's going to be a bumpy night. Well, we'll see about that. Well, I'm glad you can make it, Cheryl. When the uh, rest of the guests arrive, we'll find a quiet place where we can talk about money. Uh, Edward, don't you ever think about anything but money? Well, there was this one thing once, but at my age, that's out of the question. <laughs> it's hard to believe it. Yeah, that's what I keep saying. Mother says we have to mingle. Oh, well, the evening's young yet. Uh, nothing will keep us apart. <laughs> What's this I hear about a wedding? Yes, it's going to be Thanksgiving. Mm. Well, let's hope it doesn't turn out to be a turkey. Uh-huh. That's a joke, of course. Uh, yes. Don't you get it? Cute. Oh, yeah, we got it. Fine. Right. Will you excuse me? I have other guests to see. Would you like to mangle on that one? <laughs> Hello. Lila, I have um, no, told some of the guests that there are hot canopies in the dining room. Is that okay? Monica, you have to give me the name of that spa that you went to. You look absolutely marvelous. Doesn't she, though? Uh, Green Meadows. Excuse me? Sweetheart, mm -hmm. sweetheart, we uh, sip champagne. Okay, when I get to where I'm going, maybe I'll just do that. I don't get that. You don't have to. I'm sure there is logic there someplace. So, what led you to become such a computer whiz? Oh, I don't know. I think someone told me that computers were an easy way to get a lot done. That was probably my inspiration. Very true. Well, uh, what do you think your chances are in the election, John? The polls say they're excellent. My wife's a great believer in the polls. 
Well, I haven't decided how I'm going to vote yet. King George and Claire were running, he'd have no problem at all. <laughs> it's all right. It's still a nice party. <laughs> well, there are more people coming, of course. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Just try and remember, Monica, the evening is young. Don't say young. Late. No, not at all. The guest of honor. I haven't even arrived yet. Aren't I sort of the guest of honor, Monica? Uh, well, yes. Uh, Dr. Tony Jones, Terry O'Connor. This is my nephew, Mrs. Ned Ashton. Hello. Stepmother and father are the guests of honor. Listen, there are um, drinks and hors d'oeuvres in the dining room. Why don't you show them the way? Thank you, Ned. Thanks, Monica. I'll be right there. Well, Amy, hello. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Is my boss here yet? Uh, Gregory, I uh, believe in the uh, living room. You okay. I know. Hi, Mother. Uh, this is Melissa. Well, I know Melissa. Hello. Hi. Thank you for letting me come to your party. Oh, you're more than welcome. <laughs> um, where's Ned? He'll want to know our dates here. I believe Ned is in the dining room. Why don't you join him there? Oh. Why didn't you wear your coat? Hello. Oh, yes. Hi. You did very well. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi. Hello, Alan. How are you? Very Scott, nice, nice to, you. to see you. Hello, Alan. Great Monica? party going on in the living room. It is so crowded. Why don't you try the dining room oh, first? Yes, I don't really think that's such a good idea. Uh, but most of the people are in the morning. Oh, well, fine, Monica. Whatever you say. Yeah, well, it Thanks. sounds like a good party. Come on, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me take care of the rest of the guests from here, then. Thank you. You don't want to undo all the good they did for you at the spa, do you? Hell with the spa. What? Tony. Oh, glad to see you can make it. you? Well, I got myself together and came to the party. Got a date, too. Monica, I really don't know what's gotten into you. Hello, Larry. How nice to see you. And this must be Lady Ashton. I'm so pleased to meet you. Hello. Come right in, please. Father, is this my stepmom? That's the lady. Some. Well, Lady Ashton doesn't seem to have a migraine headache tonight. I don't see any pain on that woman's face. I wonder why she's so against therapy. Well, when you get a chance, why don't you ask her? And may I present Mrs. Darrington and Mrs. Howard, Howard and Mr. Howard. Nice, nice to meet you. you. How do you do? Well, we're very happy to be here. Yes, we like Port Charles very much. Even though I haven't seen much of it, but the grounds here are lovely. The lights and the trees and everything. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd like to join us for lunch sometime. I'd love to. What do you think of my stepmother? Oh, very nice. I don't have to ask you what you think. It's written all over your face. I don't have to say it, but I will. Anyway. She pales by comparison, my dear. You're right. You don't have to say it. In fact, you don't have to say anything. And I'd beware of my father's title charm if I were you. Well, I'm his son. I don't need to be warned. <laughs> well, Father, I see you're enjoying our guests of honor. Yeah, Lady Ashton was just saying how beautiful the grounds are looking. Would you like to see them? It's quite warm tonight. I'd love to. Would you mind? Oh, by all means, enjoy yourself. Please. Me. We'll pick up your wrap on the way out, Lady Ashton. Please, Dr. Quirman, call me Ariel. What's wrong, Tom? Ariel. I can't be. and I were a little blue before we got to the party. Maybe we shouldn't have even come. Thanks, so, come on. 
Has a minute. Oh, help. <laughs> Put something in my stomach. That's what I figured. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. The cookies. Yeah. Oh. Can I speak with you a minute? Uh, of course. Of course. I'm sorry. I really had no idea you'd be here. Well, what's the difference? It's a free country. You can have as much fun as you want to. Yeah. Um, could we get something to eat? I'm awfully hungry. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. By the way, Terry, how's Patrick doing? Mm. Uh, he's fine, I guess. Good. Yeah, I, I heard you spent some time with him in Marlton. <clears throat> so I did. Um, well, uh, he's still fine, I guess, and why not? Yeah. You know, like you don't know. Oh, honey, I think I've eaten so much caviar, I'm not really hungry for this buffet. Mm, it's a good thing, too. I saw Edward eyeing you when you were scooping it up. Looks to kill, honey. That's all he can afford it. <laughs> Joe, honey, are you all right? What? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. You're still brooding about that business meeting in New York tomorrow? Oh, that. Uh, no, I think I'm brooding about Robert. I wish he was here. Brooding about Robert. Well, sweetheart, you come on in and you can share Sean. You want to be nice with her? I'll be nice with her. Hi, Terry. Terry. Mm hmm. Hey, listen, it's kind of strange, but I was wondering yeah. if uh, you'd be interested in what. Tony, hi. Um, it's a really nice surprise to see you here. You want to leave the party early? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a great idea. Good. Nice try, Pebbles. Probably with his parents or something. Uh, hey, uh, after we, why don't you, uh, or what do you say, we, uh, you know, go to the game room and uh, watch watch some videos or something? Might as well. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you have to leave so early. Is it early surgery? Um, oh, that's part of it. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to stay, dear, and, and we can see you home. Certainly. Oh, I'd, I'd love to, but I've got to go, too. Yes, thanks yeah. for having us. It's a great party. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I do not know what possessed Scott to bring us here. That's the reason he left you now. Oh, that's right. They're having trouble, aren't they? Of course. It... Well, hola, hola, oh, 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 dear. Yeah. Oh, you look just gorgeous. Thank you, Cole. I'm sorry we're late, but it's entirely my fault. Well, now, take your things off and then come in and meet the friends. And I particularly want you to meet our guests of honor. Oh, imagine me meeting a lord and a lady. <laughs> You're not late, really, Colton. Uh, Monica, you, yes? would you please excuse us for a moment? I need to speak with Colton alone. Well, certainly. Thank okay. you. Sorry. Sure. What's up? It might be a crazy coincidence, but I need to see if you recognize her. Recognize who? What are you talking about? Come with me. Like shucks. Very shucks. Oh, it was really starting to get... Ariel? What's the matter? What? You look as if you've seen a ghost. <laughs> no. I just remembered something, that's all. You okay? Yeah. Sure. Come on, I'd better take you back to your husband. I think I'll run off with you. Which isn't bad. 